Do like memory games or something <laughs> on the computer. This is cool, but this is working, right? We got groups, they're in A. No one's no one's looking like that. Well this is the whole I think this is the whole eight, you know, eight group. There are uh, almost no awareness on the bottom chart and the existence of voice XML 
as really uh, a layer that is independent of the underlying infrastructure. That's one of our major uh, focus is to try to leverage, uh, raise awareness on voice XML and its potential in delivering uh, services to the so it, but, but, but again, uh, here we are also meeting uh, more or less the same issue. So if you really want to, to, uh, to develop a powerful voice services, you have to rely on things like text-to-speech that generate uh, the audio file for you. But if you're just manipulating audio files, it's, it's just uh, not interactive and very hard to visual condition. I just had one last thing about the languages, is that um, what it sounds like would maybe be helpful is to have like a Ugandan company do a battle fish for here. So, you know, where there's Uganda, maybe there's um, uh, a Choli, well, some of the main, main languages in the country that then can just be translated even from English into their own language. Well, certainly, but where there is an open source, but where there are open source projects, which are, sorry, in general, it's unwise to, within one country, just develop software from scratch. So, if there's something like Asterix, which is a general, globally used, sort of open source system, then clearly it's a good thing to do for when I'm preaching to the choir with the Linux user group of together. So, you know, get, get, get hold of something big like you know, the equivalent of Linux. And then put it puts in the effort. Hi, um, I just I just want to comment a little bit on, on the question that's been going around whether the issue of language and literacy, English literacy particularly, matters a lot in Uganda. Now, from my from my perspective uh, as as a technologist, we see that all the technology as just a buffet. Okay, anything that you want to do is possible. The issue, the key issue is. What do you want to achieve? Right? What is the use case? What, what are the people? What do the people want to use the internet for? And once you once you ask that question and answer it, there is always the technology to get you to where you want to go. I'll give you a simple example. Um, I saw the other day that Emkin was at, was 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 mentioning how many users of Google SMS they have. Now uh, uh, those who don't know, Google has a service here where you can request health tips, um, agricultural uh, information, and so on and so forth. And of course, the SMSs leave Uganda, go to to Google via some HTTP or whatever, and the information comes back from Google. And the, the information that they put out uh, to me showed a very high level of usage. And what that says to me is that they were offering something that was worth using, yeah. right? And they match the technology uh, to what they wanted to do, and, and it worked beautiful. Uh, so I'm not so worried personally about uh, literacy in English, I'm not so worried about literacy in whatever local language, I'm not so worried about translation, I'm worried about use cases. Once you have the, the use cases, once you have an understanding of what you want to achieve, the technology exists to, to, to get it done. Um, and, and also language is not such a big issue. If you look at the local language dailies like Booket, Booket Day, which is a Uganda paper, has more readers than some of the English dailies. And that's going to tell you something. Sorry? preference because English is the official language. Yes, but the question so is what do we want to achieve? Exactly. What do we want to achieve? Once we want to achieve it, we can achieve it using the internet yeah. as long as we match. Uh, the um, well, um, I, I think many people have given a lot of, uh, of weight to the translation and I think that's misplaced because um, most of what's on the web is very Eurocentric Century. It doesn't matter how much you translate it, people are going to be interested in American Idol, you know. Uh, the problem is not translation. Uh, it's more about generating our own uh, information, you know, and the problem is that we are thinking we should uh, take the internet to the people when in fact we already have it in the form of SMS. There are more uh, mobile phones in Africa than there are in North America. Uh, what we should do is enable people to be able to hit the web and other such things via the, the mobile phones that each of them has. You know, right? And then they'll create the content that they'll be interested in, such as uh, health information that's pertinent to, to Uganda and East Africa and so on. But, you know, bubble fish and translation and all that, 
will just be translating Amerocentric and Eurocentric stuff, which has no um, that's no that's the text. Text. That's an excellent point. Uh, so global content. How? So what can this? So what can this country do? What can, what can people in this room go out and do? In the one context, of translating from the English into the Ugandan. But my Uganda is not that good. What if I want to read here what people are saying in Uganda or Choli or in, in Karamoja? So I, you need it back the other way, Indy. Right, let's switch to my language a bit to talk about local content. Whatever language you said, right. OK, the fact is about what's happening here or what's in your particular region. What we could do, what, what could be done is awareness. We, we have this uh, local thing of most of us believe in internet is for download. We do not upload, we do not post anything. All we do, you get a phone, you get a laptop, the first thing you want to do is download something. What we could do is get people to appreciate their content and get them uploading. Let there be certain initiatives, things that you could do uh, that would be more informed. Actually, this would go many of the generous. If they would post more things, instead of us relying on the papers and everything, we'll get it. 